Hello friends, welcome to Fact Time. Today, let us know about the 3D printed ear transplant. A truly historic moment for the patients with microtia. The regenerative medicine field has begun to demonstrate the real world applications of tissue engineering technology. The 3D biotherapeutics has transplanted a 3D printed ear made of living cells. The reconstruction is the first inhuman phase of the clinical trials for the implant called Orinovo and appears to be the first 3D printed implant made of living tissues. This procedure is hoped to be used to treat people with microtia. Microtia is a rare congenital ailment where the outer ear is either underdeveloped or does not exist at all. A 20-year-old woman Alexa from Mexico whose right ear is impacted by the ailment has undergone the surgery in March and will continue to be monitored for 5 years. Dr. Arturo Bonilla, a pediatric surgeon at the Congenital Ear Institute, it is the largest pediatric microtia center in North America, led the transplant. Traditionally, doctors have to harvest rib cartilage or use porous polyethylene PPE implants to do this kind of transplant, both of which come with a set of challenges. Using rib cartilage, for example, requires a substantial harvest from at least three ribs which could result in a chest deformity and the implants are rigid and can cause discomfort. For PPE implants, typically requires taking a large section of skin from a patient's scalp with an early risk of infection and later risk of implant changes. Whereas in this new technology, doctors conducted a biopsy on the ear of the patient that was impacted and then extracted chondrocytes. Chondrocytes are the cells that create cartilage. These cells were then expanded and mixed with colvivo, a collagen-based bio-ink, before being molded with a 3D bioprinter into the size and shape of the patient's opposite ear. Daniel Cohen, CEO and co-founder of the 3D Bio, said that the impact of this technology could go well beyond patients with microtia. He also told that their main focus is on cartilage in the reconstructive and orthopedic fields including treating complex nasal defects and spinal degeneration. And to solve other high impact unmet medical needs like lumpectomy reconstruction and eventually expand to organs. So friends, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to our channel Fact Time. And don't forget to click on the bell icon for latest updates. Give us your valuable comments in the comment section below.